Hey guys, how are you doing today? We're gonna have a very interesting chat. I'm sure that you, by the thumbnail and the title, you're like, what? Oh my gosh, what is happening? Like, I must see what I didn't think I was going to get to see. So we're gonna be talking about uh, some, what do I even call this? I don't wanna say it's a scandal, but it's kind of like a little bit of a scandal, like maybe a baby scandal. Uh, not that I'm loving that, not loving it. You know, I like brushed the drama off of me and I'm still kind of, I think, having to do a little of this, a little of this and just keep moving through my life, this new chapter, uh, maintaining my peace and not getting like hopped back into being like, oh my gosh, the sky is falling because uh, I really ultimately kind of wanted to feel that way with what we're about to talk about have a look at today. Also, disclaimer, if I can put like a little beep, like a little disclaimer here, I am having legal watch this video and if I overstep and I say something like or or something of that nature, I'll likely, if I can't edit around it, I will likely have like a banner like uh, so you will know what that is. So yeah, yay. Being a business owner is a lot tougher than uh, many would really think. What do I need? I put on really big makeup because I was like, you know what? That'll make me feel so strong. And instead of the whole saying of I'm putting my big girl pants on, I was like, I'm putting on my big girl lashes and we're gonna have a go at this conversation. And you know what? Yes, the sun just came out and we are in this. I'm gonna share with you a collection, well, part of a collection that did not ever make it to launch from Tati Beauty and it's bittersweet. I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, it's kind of cool that I get to show this and that there's a reason that I'm sharing this with you all, but also, it definitely is a sting that this never made it to market. This is a palette that was never officially approved. I don't want us to get caught in like, oh, approved, like it was dangerous, like the FDA needed to approve it. No, that's not what I'm talking about. As far as the creative direction with the brand, every single pan of shadow was approved by me. We'd go through cycles and what have you when building out product to make sure the formula was truly in alignment with my vision for the brand. So this, product is not the final product. This is something that was never intended for the public to be able to purchase. It never formally launched. Tati Beauty closed down before it had a chance to launch and this wasn't even the finished product if that is making complete sense. I really hope so. There are systems in place when you are building out a brand and a checklist and things that go into creating product and it can be very lengthy. So you will see items run and then you have to redo them. And that was something that would have happened, I feel, had we not had to sadly shut down we all know there were many reasons that Tati Beauty shut down. Success was never one of them. It was a massively successful brand. I at least can stand on that ground very firmly because we sold out a product. We were projected to do amazing things, you know, moving forward and then COVID hit, legal whatnot hit and, you know, I'll just leave it at that. You guys are like, let me see the palette. I just wanna see the palette, just just show me. Um, okay, so uh, where do we start? Do we start with the police being involved? Do we start with people selling it? Do we start with the looking at the textures? Do, where do we start? Like there's so much that I could chat about. This has been going on for a couple of months and I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you first to drama channels. This is gonna be an odd one. I might, I might have to beep, 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 but I have to say, this situation leaked two months ago and no one made videos about it. And why is that gonna make me super like, <laughs> like a little emotional, but oh my gosh, it does because usually there's just like nothing is off the table. And I have to say, I, I feel respected that I didn't see any drama channels exposing me with this. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should go look and make sure, did anyone do that? I don't think they did. I saw a couple of tweets and I was like, here we go. It's gonna turn into like this whole weird thing and people will make videos, but that never happened. And so I felt 
oddly supported in that way online. But two months later with this issue continuing to come up, I'm like, you know what? I just got to sit down and chat about it and be open with you guys and share with you all what happened with this diverted stolen product that is being sold online that I had hoped would be a launch that Tati Beauty would have. So I want to be careful when I'm saying um, that this was the second palette or this was my next launch because this is not an approved product. So this is not the quality of what I would have brought to market or what I would have sold uh, had we launched properly with this palette. Although this is the color play and similar design and the names and the idea and the concept, it is not the actual approved finished product that you are finding being sold online at swap meets. There was full on diversion from product that was meant to be destroyed. That does happen in the cosmetics industry. In many industries, actually, uh, something will get run. Something does not go quite as planned and it's nobody's fault. Like there's no scandal there that just happens sometimes. And product will, especially when a company is closing, uh, will sometimes have to be destroyed. It was never meant to be stolen off of a truck and diverted and turned into an opportunity for people to profit off of. And sadly, that is what has happened. So I have been getting so many messages, so many emails. I open up my Twitter and like, honestly, I have not been able to do social much because I'm like, I need to keep my peace. I'm in this brand new chapter. I'm living my best. I'm loving Texas, by the way, still just like every day I wake up and I'm like, thank you, God, I love it here. And I don't wanna like get in a frenzy or get too upset, but I do have to say like going in my at mentions, going in my DMs and seeing the palette that I didn't get to launch photographed and people purchasing it and people being confused about it was really just like shifting me in this weird way where I'm like, I can't do this. Like my fight or flight is kicking in and I want to run. And that's something that I have to battle with now a little bit. We all know I, I have been through a lot here on the internet. I've been doing this a long time. So thank you for the moment of peace where I just have not I have not been on Twitter. I haven't really been on IG. I'm just thinking about sitting down and making this video and what I would say and how to handle this and what's the right thing to do and what's the wrong thing to do. And the pressure just kind of does still surprisingly get to me a little bit. But God bless you all for still watching my YouTube videos, whether I'm promoting here, there, everywhere, the fact that you all show up and support. Thank you so much. It means everything that I can sit down and just have a conversation like this. So, um, wow, am I taking like the long way around the block to get to the part that I don't necessarily want to get to, but here we are. I wanted to share myself the Enchanted Textures palette that would have been launched had it been approved for Tati Beauty. If you see this online, do not purchase it. It is not approved by me. I, I cannot guarantee the quality. I don't know how it has been handled. I don't know how it has been stored. I do not feel like it is a safe idea. Also, you're supporting theft and there is an investigation going on. Like the police were called. There's an investigation. I mean, doesn't that sound like, whoa, like that's a little intense, but this was, uh, these, palettes were stolen merchandise and you know it's being looked into so please do not purchase this online do not support those who stole products uh it's just not good so the enchanted textures the collection which it was initially going to be a collection i had other things in motion for the brand beyond just the palettes and the blendiful and this was not even um textures too. You guys know I would always come on here and I'd be like, I have 30 collections planned and I have this and I have that. And I did. I fully, fully did. So this was Enchanted Textures and then there was Texture Neutrals Volume 1. There was going to be a Texture Neutrals Volume 2. I'm sure you can all guess it was going to be more cool toned, um, but I was already in it kind of creating what I wanted to with these larger palettes, but then we were kind of branching out as well. So I would go like full mad scientist in my beauty studio in LA. And part of the process that I would do is I would literally take glitters, 
hair gels, lotions. I would take shadows from other palettes and then I would like grind them up and I would add in different colors and different loose pigments and spray alcohol in a pan and repress them and kind of just try to come up with a prototype of what I was seeing in my mind. And I was struck with this idea one day of this kind of fantasy themed princess-esque palette, kind of a dreams come true, enchanted textures. And we all know for a hot minute, I was just completely under the spell of a butterfly. And that spell, I wanna say I've moved off of it. Like that has been broken. The butterfly thing was weird for me. It was very much in my mind, uh, transformation and kind of coming into your own. And uh, you know, butterflies are beautiful, but I like butterfly, 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 butterfly. And I was like seeing butterflies everywhere. And it was this weird, like spiritual thing. I'm over it now. Like that's something that I'm like, okay, kind of like, broke that moving forward kind of out of the like fantasy of it all but that like when i started creating this collection it was all about fantasy all about bigger dreams and becoming something that maybe you desire to become and it, i had a whole like campaign behind it and i was really really happy with the concept with the colors once again this is not approved this is not exactly where i had wanted it to land it's pretty close we did do some pro photography i will um, give you guys a look at that as well just to kind of get the feel of what was going to be i don't want to entice you too much to go and purchase this i might in the future have recommendations of kind of similar products that i would say would go in the vein of this collection if i can even do that i don't even know i feel like i'm breaking like 10,000 rules right now. But honestly, you guys, there are people selling a product that wasn't meant to be sold with literally my name on the front. So I kind of feel like I've got to protect my reputation to some degree and I have to talk about this. I just have to. So uh, this is the Tati Beauty Enchanted Textures, very similar to the first volume. As far as the style of the package, it again had that kind of book book end type feel. Even the PR was gonna be another stacked book. That was my initial dream. Like I feel like why not share a little bit with you guys cause it's kind of fun. Um, my initial dream was in PR to send out the what looked like a stacked coffee table book over and over and over so they could just be stacked and then ultimately find a way to do a special collection over like holiday or something where people could purchase that book end as like a collection once we grew into selling more products. So there was a vision there with this whole storybook theme as well, but this one was gonna be holographic and with the butterflies and it had all this cool design work on it. And it was really, really stunning. And the inside said, and it's my words, so I feel like I'm not like copywritten or anything. The inside said, because the first one said, beautiful is your story to tell and make up, believe. And then it kind of like had that in a weird shadowy kind of thing, which I really loved. And then this one was going to say, it was from a song I had written, the stars fall softly like confetti to my soul. And it had to do with the glitter and with this whole imagination, enchantment type thing. And it's just wild how different I am now. If I was creating from scratch a new palette, this would not be it. This was like, this is long ago. So it is kind of funny also to be like, okay, this is like mm, two years too late, but let's imagine that we are back in the trend and in the time of 2020 pre-COVID and let's just like go go back in time for a moment and imagine how fun this palette would have been because it is, ooh, this one came broken, okay. See, I, I can't guarantee that shipment either. I, you don't know. I bought these, I literally went online and bought my own palette. How funny is that? Okay, so here we are. This is, this is it. So we have the glitter row again, metallics, sequins, mattes, and I'll just share the names really quickly with you guys, why not? It was very much in that kind of daydreamy imagination feel. Once, queen, wish, ever, true, and believe. So I definitely had a strong love for this collection. I thought I had the prototype here. Do I have it? No. Yes, no, I don't, oh, I don't have it. I'll try to find it at some point. You can see this one was like definitely tested and used up. That's not one 
that I um, purchased online. You can see the colors are a little, a little different as well, but the whole feel of it was really cool. Um, I guess I just wanted to, I wanted to hop on and I felt like I needed to defend this collection because it was popping up so much and people were like, oh no, that's ugly. Or, oh no, that looks like a fake. Or could it be like, and it just caused a lot of confusion. And it was the almost is what I'm going to say. Uh, this was not finished. This was not intended for sale. I'm a little bit horrified that people have it in their hands and it is not like the perfectly polished, finished product and my name is on it and I don't want people to think that that is what I stand for. And I also don't know like, again, how it's being stored or handled or if it comes broken or like I, like I have no control here of what's going on with the diversion. I'm doing the best I can as far as offering information and being, you know, helpful to the report that was filed. But beyond that, I really can't do much other than just share with you guys openly and candidly what's going on. I hope that this video um, was at very least interesting. I know it's kind of a bummer to see something that you can't purchase and be like, oh man, you know, ah, oh, like could have been great, you know, but I do want to also say this. Oh, put this down for this. Okay, let's, let's, let's like get serious for a moment, okay? I'm gonna throw some cheesy, cheese ball quote, something in the lines of, uh, it's not over until you decide to not get up. And I'm not done creating, whether that means cosmetics, color, or going in a whole different avenue and creating something else new. I still have it in me. I have a strong desire to just build something. And I have so many ideas and that part of me has been reinvigorated in huge part to me being back here with you guys and filming for YouTube and just starting this new adventure and being a little more relaxed. Like all the creativity is starting to kind of flood up again and I feel really good about it. And I, you know, I don't wanna quit. I don't wanna give up. Am I making color right now? No, I'm not. And it is heartbreaking because that was my number one, you guys, like that was the like baby Tati's goal for her future was a color cosmetic line. And I feel like I got the rug pulled out from under me just with the timing of the world, with outside litigation. I don't have anything negative to say about my partners. You know, it is what it is. It was just too many things colliding that did not line up and made it impossible to move forward. So is it heartbreaking? Yes. Did I have more in me? Yes, so much more. For now, I will just continue reviewing makeup, trying makeup and giving you guys awesome recommendations and who knows what the future will bring, but I love you all so much. Thank you for hanging out with me while I share something heavier on my heart and I appreciate your support so much. I love you all, go have a good one and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.